Hey guys, Coach Brandy here with a quick video on hydration for you. Um, I've talked to a few people who I think are suffering from just a little bit of dehydration, so we want to address that with you guys today. Um, especially as we go into the summer months where it's a little hotter outside, we're spending some more time outside, uh, we're sweating a little bit more, I want to be sure you're drinking enough water. I also want you to be aware that you can drink too much water. So if you're, if you're not drinking enough, you will suffer from dehydration, and we don't want that. If you go overboard and you're drinking too much, you will suffer from something called hyponatremia, and we don't want that either. That's where um, your body flushes out too much water, uh, flushes out all the electrolytes from your system, and um, you want... You you don't want that imbalance. So you want to find the right balance uh, between uh, drinking enough water and drinking too much water, getting enough electrolytes, putting some salt into your diet. So how much is enough water? You want, I want you to work up to drinking about half of your body weight in ounces of water. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you're going to drink 100 ounces of water. And if you're not there yet, that's okay. You just want to slowly work up to that point. Um, but once you get there, you could drink a little bit more than that, but you don't want to go too far overboard uh, because you want that salt, the sodium, the magnesium, um, the calcium, you want those electrolytes in your system. So if you are eating um, processed foods, I can almost guarantee that you are getting enough salt in your diet. So you probably don't need to do anything and maybe even think about cutting back a little on that. Uh, but if you're eating clean, clean foods, uh, don't be afraid to add some salt into your diet. You can also do uh, the Himalayan pink salt. You can put some of that into maybe a gallon of water, shake it up, and then put that into your water containers for the day. Um, we use what we call a uh, NUN tablets, N-U-U-N. Uh, you can use that, and they also make liquid electrolytes, so you could put that in your water as well. So the bottom line is just to, to find that balance. Be sure you're getting enough water, but be sure you're getting your maintaining your electrolyte levels as well, so you don't suffer from those symptoms of dehydration or hyponatremia. Let me know if you have any questions. You can reach me at coach at CrossFitHermitage.com, and we'll see you soon.